Good evening. Uh, I've just seen Stu's video on his granddad's old army clasp knife. Uh, Stu is SAC94 on YouTube. Um, now, he's got one of these which his granddad was given. He's not sure if he was given it in the RAF or if he got it working on the railways. But either way, he said it's, it's probably about 70 years old. And uh, rather than give a very lengthy comment, in your comments I thought I'd show you this too because I've got a couple here that are dated and it might help you figure out what date yours is um, now this one here this is built to the British pattern under license presumably from the MOD but it's actually if you look at the, uh, the lettering these things do have an amazing snap as you pointed out in your video this one was actually produced for the Belgian army. It's exactly the same as the British ones, probably even made here. Um, oh no, it says Colas. No, so it's not made here. But anyway, it's exactly the same as the British ones. It was just made for the Belgian army. Now this one, as you can see, is dated 1951. So that's 1951 with the old Bakelite type handles. Seems to be pretty much the same as what you've got. It's your granddad's. Now, if I show you this one, this is the next incarnation of those British Army clasp knives. This is the type, it doesn't have the Bakelite scales, it's just stainless steel all over. Now, this one is dated 1954. Now, this one was issued, it's even got the soldier's individual number stamped into it there. J.H. Thompson Cutlery of Sheffield, dated 1954. So, I don't know if it helps you out, Stu, but it might help you place things a bit. 1951, 1954. So, it gives you an idea, roughly, of, of how old your one might be. Uh, incidentally, I've also got this. This is a modern reproduction. You can see there, the genuine British Army knife. Stainless steel made in Sheffield, England. It is crap. It is absolute crap. Look, the blade doesn't shut properly. That catches on your fingers, it catches on your pocket. I had to put an edge on the, uh, the can opener because it had no edge whatsoever. Actually, even the knife blade came pretty awful and I had to put an edge on it to be able to use it. And also these scales here, you can actually squeeze them. I'm not sure they're even steel, possibly monkey metal. You can squeeze them, which you absolutely cannot do with the 1954 original. The other thing is, if you look in there, there's rust going on in there, all over the place. Yeah, look, you can see it there as well. Not a quality knife these modern reproductions but these old ones are absolutely awesome and it's brilliant Stu that your one has actually got a bit of family history attached to it I was really pleased to see that um, yeah I hope those dates help you a bit see you later